Dear friends, welcome again to the second uh, webinar session with a new university for us. This time we're going to St. Petersburg, the Peter Veliki Polytech University. This is the nickname or the way how we call this university. But before we starting with Anna, the representative of uh, SPBU, uh, I would like to share with you guys that this university is one of the leading technical universities here in Russia. So for those who are interested to study engineering, for bachelor or postgraduate programs, I recommend you to check this uh, university. Anna, how are you today? Hello. Hi. So Hi. yeah, we, we can see you, we see the presentation and uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm very happy to be today here online and presenting our university, Peter the Great St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. Uh, our abbreviation is Polytech, so very often also uh, to uh, meet us uh, with this abbreviation. And I will start, first of all, with our location. We are located in St. Petersburg, a very famous city uh, in Russia, famous not only for the architecture and for the building, for the also cold uh, Baltic Sea weather uh, and for white nights and bridges, but also uh, famous for excellent uh, scientific uh, educational uh, institutions and uh, our industrial partners which are located also here in our city. Uh, so a little bit about the geography. Uh, we are located in northwest of Russian Federation and it's the second largest city, uh, also known as cultural capital. And in our uh, top ranking, yes, uh, it's uh, one of the most affordable cities for students uh, because we have a lot of infrastructure and a lot of possibilities uh, by not educational, but also um, yeah, everything is available at our city and comfortable for students. Uh, our uh, city, uh, our university, sorry, is uh, just 20 minutes uh, far away from the city center by public transport. And uh, it's very yeah, comfortable to reach um, everything. Uh, the most important uh, about our university is that we are top one among Russian technical universities uh, and also by number of uh, international students, we are among top three uh, universities in Russia. We have uh, um, approximately about uh, 30,000 uh, of uh, students, of from which uh, 8,500 are international students. Uh, and um, yeah, also a little bit about more about international. Uh, our international part is that uh, we have uh, a lot of um, lecturers and professors who are uh, teaching our students from abroad uh, because of the pandemic uh, a lot of communication has been also online and uh, we are uh, trying to uh, continue also with uh, this point and we have two representatives uh, representative offices in shanghai and in madrid so we can say that we are quite a very international uh, city and it has been for decades that uh, the representatives of different nations uh, cultures have studied and worked here at polytechnic university uh, a little bit about rankings uh, connected to uh, the educational part. We are uh, in the QS world ranking uh, among the top top five, 400 uh, universities. We have also the five stars uh, rating system uh, for uh, online education. And uh, we are in the um, 120th position. Uh, of the number of international students. Uh, also, we have, uh, I will tell a little bit about uh, this later, uh, different uh, fields of studies and all, the most of fields of studies are also represented in on a very high level uh, in the time uh, subject uh, ranking. So uh, we can be sure that uh, the education that we are offering at the universities is at the highest level. So now about uh, education, we have 12 uh, institutes uh, which are covering completely different subject areas from computer science, electronics, energy, uh, civil engineering, manufacturing technologies, humanities, management, economics. So everybody uh, will find uh, the field of study uh, which uh, he or she would like to attend. So a very bright spectrum of different um, possibilities. And uh, we are offering 
like foundation programs, uh, bachelor masters in Russians, also bachelor master uh, in English level, uh, in English language, sorry, uh, PhD programs, double deg degree programs, and uh, also different uh, possibilities of um, winter and summer school modules. Uh, we have uh, 27 international master programs taught in English. That means that uh, the students who are coming to our university, university do not have necessary to know Russian language. Of course, the, you uh, can attend also Russian um, uh, studies uh, degree programs in Russian, but for that you will have to um, visit, first of all, the pre-faculty foundation program, but also there is a possibility without knowing Russian language to start an educational path at our uh, university. Uh, so if uh, we will, uh, first of all, we will uh, look at the first part. So if you are an international student and you would like to attend a Russian program, so um, educational program taught in Russian, you have to do a one year university foundation program. At this slide, we are showing, um, uh, so also for the students, you can, uh, if you would like to have more information, you can just uh, use our QR code and there will be uh, everything more detailed. But um, as main information, uh, our foundation programs are durating between eight and 10 months. Uh, you will get uh, tracks not only in the Russian language, but also in the specific fields, engineering, economics, humanities, depending on the field of study you would like to choose later. Uh, and uh, of course, it's a very good way for students who would like to uh, make here the full bachelor, master, uh, or PhD um, uh, program, uh, but uh, without knowing the Russian language. So this is the first part you can do. Uh, also here, uh, the QR codes for the bachelor's degree and master degrees, if you would like to uh, know a little bit more which uh, exactly courses we are offering, which field of studies uh, we do have. And uh, the application pro process is quite uh, easy for bachelor and for master degrees from the 1st of February till August. Uh, you can apply uh, through the application form. Yes, and uh, the standard package of uh, documents are needed. Uh, also, the entrance exams are listed here um, on different fields. Uh, if you have, we will attend bachelor degree, you need uh, to pass the Russian language and mathematics or social science also um, with additional exams if it's necessary uh, and if you are uh, entering the master degree courses you have to pass Russian uh, language and the study field exam but if you have any questions concerning this you can contact our admission office to any time and they will provide all the necessary information so, but if you would like to uh, with, uh, to start our the education at our university without uh, the foundation program, so uh, at a degree program taught in English, it's also possible. We have bachelor degree programs uh, in um, English uh, also listed here, uh, but like I mentioned, 27 uh, master degree programs. So uh, also I will... <laughs> offer you the QR code for more detailed information for later. Um, also, you can see all the field of studies from uh, economics, uh, humanities, uh, through natural sciences and uh, also um, engineering, of course, engineering programs. And the, the application procedure as well as for Russian uh, programs is the same. So uh, there are also scholarship opportunities to enter our universities. We are uh, taking part in the Russian governmental scholarship program. Uh, it's on the one hand and at, uh, for bachelor, master and PhD students. And we are also taking part in the Open Doors Olympiad, uh, which is uh, very uh, successful running the last uh, years. It's for students who are um, trying to attend master and PhD programs. And that means that the students who are coming to us through the Russian governmental scholarship from abroad or through the uh, Open Doors Olympiad, they have tuition free uh, education and uh, get also a monthly stipend of uh, 2000 rubles or 5000 rubles, depending on the degree program. Uh, as uh, it is also very um, often mentioned now, the transferring uh, from an other universities to our university, it's also possible. There are also two tracks. Uh, on the one hand, for self-founded students who are paying
uh, for them for the education. Um, here also listed the contacts. You have to contact our admission uh, office. They will tell you what documents are necessary. Uh, so it takes some time for consideration of your documents because we have to uh, look that your program is appropriate to the profile institute you would like to attend. And then you get a confirmation letter also from your home institute that they are not against that you are doing the transfer. Yes, and then uh, if everything is okay with the documents and our uh, profile institute can take you, then you just have to uh, make some uh, coordination with the visa uh, transfer and inform us about arrival. We will enroll you. And uh, yeah, the, the uh, step seven here, check in at the dormitory immigration card, medical card. This is also like in all, all other universities. Uh, another track is for the scholarship students, uh, universities who are entering our university through the Russian governmental scholarship, a little bit more difficult. Uh, here we have to contact our international educational office and um, we will have to prepare a letter to the Russian Ministry of Education of Science because they are giving the scholarship money and they are have to agree that you would like to transfer from one Russian university to another. It's also possible uh, students are uh, also attending this uh, track, uh, takes a little bit longer time and uh, maybe needs a little bit more uh, documents, but um, yeah, the transfer from other universities is also possible. Uh, very uh, um, bureaucratic part, but should also be mentioned uh, that uh, all educational documents should be legalized and evaluation. I will not uh, talk about more about this. Also, uh, the QR codes are for your um, concern. So uh, maybe the most interesting beside the educational part for uh, our uh, students is uh, our campus and the infrastructure of our university. Uh, we have a unique university campus in St. Petersburg. It is over 120 hectare and uh, with around 171 buildings uh, covered by three metro stations in the north of the city. Uh, like I told, 20 minutes from the city center away, but a really big campus. You see at the map, we have uh, uh, not only a lot of buildings, not only a lot of uh, laboratories and research uh, buildings, but also our own little forest, uh, our own a uh, sport complex on the territory of our campus, so the infrastructure is really big. Uh, we have an international campus, dormitories, everything what is uh, needed uh, and everything what uh, makes um, a comfortable staying uh, here for our international students. So the student dormitory is offered for every uh, student, uh, for every international student. Uh, the monthly costs uh, are between 5,000 5, and 7,000 uh, rubles. Uh, with the COVID uh, restrictions, there are also all necessary equipment uh, for uh, this if there is uh, something uh, yeah, it's also still actual. So uh, we have, uh, as we have really a big amount of students, uh, about 8,500. So everything is very well uh, thought and uh, everything what is connected uh, to the comfortable stay uh, of our international students. But not only uh, the dormitory uh, is interesting, we have a lot of uh, centers uh, for and a lot of additional institutions like, for example, Fab Lab Workshop uh, Laboratory, a southern camp uh, for our students in the Black uh, Sea, uh, sport complex, um, medical complex, concert hall, a museum. So um, for sure, it will be not boring here <laughs> uh, at our campus for our international students. So, um, about student life, we have uh, also a lot of uh, options to um, attend the student life. Uh, when uh, international students are arriving, they have um, we have a um, so-called body program, which helps with the adaptation of foreign students and with their inter. Uh, uh, integration into the social uh, life. So the adapters are, uh, are the first week completely with you. So they are going and showing you the dormitory, the medical complex, uh, the nearby cafeterias uh, and so on. So really you will be not alone here in our big city. Uh, and after that, so uh, if you wish, you can uh, attend uh, also uh, this body program as a tutor, uh, as an adapter and also 
uh, help host other international students who are arriving. But uh, not only this, uh, we have Poly Union, um, a very interesting international club for Russian and inter uh, international students to exchange their um, yeah, scientific interests or just hobbies. Uh, so uh, tutor forces, uh, polytechnic programs, festivals, competitions, as well as scientific, but also uh, connected to Russian language, Russian culture, cultures. Uh, we have also international days of uh, cultures here uh, because we have students from over 125 countries. So um, really a lot of uh, things to discuss, uh, cultural differences. It's very interesting. Yes, and um, coming back uh, from the interesting and uh, fun part, uh, back to our uh, scientific uh, interests of our students, um, I have told that uh, I mentioned that we have a lot of different uh, fields of studies, uh, but uh, we are also a very not only engineering university but also a very interdisciplinary university. And uh, on the campus of uh, our university, a very new building uh, is, has been built up in 2020, the Technopolis Polytech, with about uh, 35 research laboratories in connection with academic and industrial partners. And here uh, is uh, the place where our Russian foreign students, sign, um, uh, young scientists uh, can really practice and can really invent and can really participate in the future uh, scientific life. Yeah, because it's the aim uh, to get a lot of experience as well as educational, but also um, yeah, the real scientific experience. And it's possible on this uh, in this very new uh, research building. Uh, every uh, year we have another uh, field which is interconnected um, from advanced digital technologies, big data, climate and uh, efficient energy. So we are discussing, we are working on all the important topics, uh, as well as from the educational part, but also for uh, from the scientific part. And uh, yeah, of course, we hope uh, that uh, um, this uh, tradition which we have in our university of a very multilingual university, a very collaborative university. It will be also uh, the next year. So you are very, very welcome. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you in the new uh, study year. Uh, so uh, connected to uh, the transfer from other universities mm -hmm. that it's possible uh, for um, self-funded students and uh, as well as for students through the scholarship for self-funded students who are paying who are willing to pay uh, the tuition fee it's uh, really just uh, very um, simple you are um, first the first step is you have to contact our admission office uh, tell them that uh, yeah you would like to transfer from this university to uh, SPBPU uh, there was there are some documents which are needed like your print, tra, um, passport your diploma your uh, transcript of records for this particular semester you are studying at uh, and then this um, package of documents we will uh, send to our profile institute yes and they have to check whether your program uh, is uh, appropriate to the program which we are offering and when there is the match then uh, we just need uh, the confirmation from the student that uh, he is he would like to transfer and the confirmation from the university he is studying that they are not against that he is transferring. And that's all. Uh, the mm -hmm. next step is the enrollment, uh, the visa uh, and uh, the registration point is also very important that the student gets uh, the right uh, new registration at our university and that's all uh, you can uh, the student contact the dormitory the international education office when he or she arrives uh, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's quite uh, simple takes uh, i don't know a few weeks uh, yeah. if the student is in contact with us consciously uh, so uh, our admission office has a lot of uh, yeah experience about it and um, can answer any questions. Great. Anna, can you tell us the deadline of the transfer uh, for this intake? Uh, the deadline is every time the end of the term. So uh, yes. the end of the term and in uh, January uh, or yeah, at the beginning of June, July. It's June, every time right. the end of the term because the students to, to time a year it can be done uh, because mm -hmm. then at the end of the term the student has the transcript of records. Mm -hmm. the previous, the previous yeah, 
-hmm. Yeah, clear, clear, clear. Uh, so, guys, uh, regarding uh, like the, the some standard other questions here uh, about the hostel, uh, Anya, um, mm -hmm. is there a hostel is guaranteed for all international students? I mean, the newly coming international students. If yes, uh, can you please remind us about the fees of the hostel, the conditions there? Yes, the dormitories are the hostels are provided to all international students who are coming to Russia. Uh, we have uh, dormitories uh, in, in the international campus. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, it's like international office on the one hand and international uh, dormitory on the other. So everything is very closed. Uh, mm -hmm. And the fees for the dormitory are approximately between 5,000 and 7,000 rubles. Per month. Okay. Yeah, okay. and uh, there are yeah two, three students living in one room. In one of course, room. with okay. all the necessary uh, equipment and uh, and all these things. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Uh, maybe by the end, uh, Anya, as a resident of uh, the beautiful city St. Petersburg, you can share with us a little bit about uh, uh, what is the average uh, expense of international students for their pocket money. I mean living in the mm -hmm. city. Maybe from your knowledge of I'm talking with international students studying at your university you can have mm -hmm. such as information. What do you recommend for the newly coming students? So um like about the dormitory, about the living costs, we have already spoken. Yeah. Uh, then uh, all the students are getting the um, uh, transport card. Uh, as also the Russian students, which is uh, much uh, lower than uh, the normal public transport. Yes. So it's approximately about 1,000 rubles for the whole month for all the kinds of transport. So this is uh, important also for students. Yes. And for the daily life, uh, yeah, I think about 20,000 rubles uh, would be um, enough, depending, of course, on the interests of the students, uh, all the museums, all um, yeah, these cultural parts, uh, even the theaters uh, have a very, um, as the students are, um, have the student ticket, uh, they okay. can visit all the museums for free, for example, and uh, theaters, they get a big, um, yeah, like, yeah, payoff. Uh, yeah, as yeah. they are also enrolled uh, students as well as the Russians. So uh, this cultural part um, is yeah, kind of for free. And that's mm -hmm. very good because we are um, trying to invite the students uh, to right. visit, uh, this, to, to take all the cultural uh, features from our uh, beautiful city. So sure. the main question is, of course, the living costs. And the living costs are uh, about 20,000 rubles. 20,000 rubles. If you are not yeah. going to, 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 to um, I don't know, buy Yeah, to party, to party every weekend, of course. That yeah, yeah, to party, it's expensive <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> but possible. Right, sure. Yeah, but still, I mean, comparing... It's like quite adaptive there. They yeah, even uh, without <laughs> comparing with Moscow, I'm pretty sure that it's, it's uh, uh, quite... Uh, Better price than here in Moscow. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Concerns guys. Are, connected to the living costs, yes. Uh, to party, I don't know. <laughs> we have to ask the students. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay. So, as, as you know, here in Russia, we have, you know, the culture part you can discover in St. Petersburg as well as the party part or our setting part. All of this important of the student uh, living, you know, journey uh, <clears throat> during studying here in Russia. So, um, Anya, thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. Thank for you for the invitation. Community. Yeah, talking yeah. about such a wonderful university, we're always proud to have you with us. And hopefully in the coming, in the nearest future with our weekly webinar sessions, we will yeah, host we you again and again, talking more about the university and what you have for the international students in the yeah. community. So the students are very welcome at uh, our university. Thank you. Thank you very much. We